say the justice. You know, on the pinning, on which everything is important, you know, in the, in the Sherlock Holmes novels, he's quoted as saying, little things don't mean a lot, they mean everything. <laughs> little things don't mean a lot, they mean everything. That's all these things mean a lot. That's why it takes a long time really to master. I, I, you know, you have to pay attention. That everything works together. Everything works seamlessly. Don't worry about learning a mass number of techniques per se. But whatever techniques you do, do the master for them. Then every technique you do from then on will be done master. Okay? So focus on that. Don't focus on volume. Uh, it'll come. Speed will come. Yeah, they, everything comes in time. But this is all part of, again, I always tell my students, enjoy the journey. Cherish the journey. The best part. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. On, on, again, here, I check, I do a continual spiral, I come down. Now, oops, I need to slap it. Here, I move in, I want him flat down. Now, when I come in, I'm using my right hand and my right leg on his left. I'm going to grab his thumb side. You have to be consistent. I also have to do that side, just. You have to be consistent when you hold. And again, one of the biggest things that I see <clears throat> that needs, uh, it's an error that will probably give you 25-30% increase in your effectiveness, is use your little finger first, then your second finger, then your third finger. Use them in succession. That's the way, when we do this EQ, and you drop, you should drop, close the fingers and allow the weight to drop to the lowest side. This is what we do. We open the fingers, we drop the fingers. When you grab, you grab just like you grab your full can. You have to use your little finger first. That's what cements your grip. If you're not doing that, please, if you get one thing out of this seminar, <laughs> learn to grip properly. From here, this side here, I go for some side. That's your base hole. And once you learn this, you don't have to learn it again. It's consistent, unless you have to change for some reason, obviously. But I have good position here. I've established that grip. I put my hand over his fingers. I take a good strong stance and I extend into him. So in essence, I'm finishing right here. But I've done so in the best strategic position I can be in. Okay? So let's pay attention to your every aspect and let's not leave out one of the most important aspects, the finishing aspect. Try it again, please. Thank you.